Hello and welcome to Indus News from Islamabad. I'm Jabhat Tehami and these are the headlines. Pakistan has urged all the stakeholders in Afghanistan to resolve their remaining issues for the start of intra-Afghan talks without any delay. In a tweet, of Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said the warring sides must seize the historic opportunity for peace. This comes a day after the Afghan government and the Taliban accused each other of a delay in the commencement of the negotiations. French President Emmanuel Macron says peace in the Middle East is his country's top priority. In a telephone conversation with Palestine's President Mahmoud Abbas, Macron said he is committed to working for a just solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. While President Abbas said Palestinians reject the UAE-Israel deal on the normalization of diplomatic relations. Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko has rejected calls to hold a new presidential election in the country. Speaking at a rally in Minsk, he voiced concerns over NATO military exercises taking place in neighboring Poland and Lithuania. But a spokesperson for the alliance said there is no military buildup in the region. Belarus has been rocked by a week of violent protests over the allegations of digging in last Sunday's presidential vote. In Thailand, thousands of protesters have taken to the streets of Bangkok, demanding the removal of Prime Minister Pariyut Chanocha. They call for the reforms to the country's powerful monarchy and an end to the military's domination of politics. Accusation of corruption and the economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic further fueled anger among the protesters. Globally, the novel coronavirus pandemic has taken over 770,000 lives and infected more than 21.4 million people. In the US, nearly 1,100 people have died due to COVID-19, while nearly 50,000 people tested positive for the virus in the past 24 hours. India has recorded 944 fatalities, taking the toll to nearly 50,000, with almost 2.6 million cases. In Pakistan, the death rate continues to decline as six people have died overnight, taking the tally to 6,168. And that is all for now with the latest updates. You can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Coming up next is Coffee Table.